Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I have just gone ahead and set up everything underneath here and I think uh, I've got it all. Um, I haven't done testing for a couple of the metals yet. I haven't like tested if it's automated correctly, but I think, uh, I think we got everything. Um, I have the radon going directly into the thing, so that's just there instead of up top and then i've gone ahead and done the filters and the one issue with the filters is you can only put one fluid on it so i kind of had to basically what i said had it set to one filter denies that metal going that way and then one has it set um so it can only go this way is basically what i've done um so europium needs the neodymium and the hydrogen, hydrogen's always just gonna be in there. Um, so it's gonna melt down the neodymium. It's gonna go up here. It, it's gonna be blocked by this filter and it can only go through this uh, filter right there. Basically you have it uh, filter output and invert output. Invert output means it's gonna deny it from going that way. And then filter means it's gonna check whatever's on the filter and uh, only allow that through. And then I set both filters and I did that for each thing. So the first one's Europium. Um, the second one is, I'm trying to remember. Uh, second one is Gallium, I believe. Um, gallium, so I can create the Geranium. And then the next one, or the next two are Geranium and Titanium. And then the last one is the chrome and lutetium. Yeah, and uh, that was probably from testing uh, when I was setting filters and stuff. But uh, I'm just gonna avoid this. Um, so basically I just kind of wanted to see if it, uh, I got everything working here. I think uh I think I did. Um so why don't we just go ahead and do something like super easy and see if uh it works. So let's try I guess um let's do Europium. Don't really need it, but how about we do like 32 ingots? So it's melting it down. Should be going like along here into one of them. In theory, if I did everything right. Uh oh. What? Did, where did it end up? Oh, did it not? Right. There we go. So it, it should be going into this one. Yep, there it is. Nice. All right, so there is that. And then I think I need to turn this back on. Oh, right. <laughs> Duh. I forgot to... Uh, Replace all the energy hatches with the, um, the UV energy hatches. Of course, I was setting up all the filters when I was, uh, as I was doing the, um, crafting up the, all the energy hatches, but I got 14 energy hatches all set here. So, uh, we can finally get this fully built. And this is kind of like the final build, I think, with this. We have a full amount of hatches and the full amount of energy hatches. Um, so yeah, that is a fully built fusion reactor. And like I said, I did kind of debate whether I wanted to, oops, 
um, upgrade to the tier four. And I, the only reason I would maybe do that would be to overclock the recipes even more. Um, uh, to produce like more power, I guess would be. This is. But I'm not sure because that fusion reactor is extremely expensive and time consuming. So I don't think I'm going to be doing it, uh, but you never know. I might change my mind. All right, so there we go. It is formed. Let's go ahead and get all these charging up and hopefully uh, nothing will Burn down, and I just realized I forgot to set a output hatch for the europium, so it would have voided it. That wouldn't have been good. All right, I think we're good. Everything is good there. So, uh, I think this was a Mericeum plasma, if I remember. Don't remember which one I set. So I should have like signs on these maybe. Maybe throw a sign there. Like, oh, this is a Mericeum plasma. This is a Mericeum. I don't know. Maybe. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure this is set to a Mericeum, but uh, I don't remember. All right. Uh, yeah, we should be good. So let's flip this on. There we go. Is it outputting? Yeah, there is the molten europium. Do that. Do there. Block that off. That should be going in there, which it is. Perfect. That should solidify it, which it is doing. But it's going so fast, you know, you can't even see it. And uh, yeah, it's all putting back into the thing. Now I also have, I'm gonna do a one of those covers, I think right there. I just haven't uh, done it yet. And maybe covers for each of those, just to kind of make it look a bit nicer, I think. So I'm gonna need, I, should, I wonder if I have like a, yeah. I don't know if I particularly want to use that, but uh, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to like mess anything up. So, but when that turns off, I'm going to kind of maybe uh, make that look a bit nicer, cover up these holes and put a thing on that. But anyway, there is the fusion reactor. And uh, yeah, I will set the rest of the, the things. I just need to set the the output hatches. I don't even know if I really need to, but I just like having them. I really like having them set so I know where the stuff is coming out and I know stuff isn't getting voided. And, uh, like it's not doing some European here and some European over there kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that is enough of that. So, uh, let's just, uh, leave that on. As we can see, I have a big, huge backlog of helium plasma as well. Um, and that is with having eight of these running. Um, but anyway, so today uh, I want to check out a mega, one of the mega uh, multi-blocks. And there's two of them. There is the mega freezer and the mega blast furnace. And uh, uh, the mega blast furnace, I do want to craft eventually, but it is extremely expensive um, with the heating coils and the glass. So if I want to do the top tier glass. I'm gonna need to get UV glass and find it. Yeah, so UV, CPM, LUV, IV, EV, HV. So in order to get this, we're gonna have to do the boron silicate glass into, so nine to one, and then you have to cover it in each, this is each of these, and that's what, 50, 
like 40 something nickel per glass. And then I have to cover that in nine tungsten each. And then I have to cover it in nine chrome. And then I have to cover it in about 30 iridium each. And then I have to cover it in nine osmium each. And this multi-block, as we can see, the outer layer is 15 by 18 by 15 boro silicon glass. So we're looking at about, uh, I can't remember, a thousand. I need a thousand of these um, at UV to smelt the neutronium. So uh, yeah, that alone is like 9,000 osmium just for that. Not even including like all the other stuff that we're going to need. Um, 50,000 nickel kind of thing. Um, so we will get to that at some point. I do want to check it out, but uh, the vacuum freezer is actually not not that bad. It's just 64 of these uh, controllers and some soldering alloy, which this stuff is actually pretty cheap. It's just a bunch of uh, circuits. So uh, that is not the end of the world. So I did set up this. I'm just going to do 64. I could do 63 because I have the other one that'll be replaced, but I'm not going to worry about that. So uh, what are we looking at here? Silicon and rubber. Um, rubber. You can just do this. Pull that out. And then I'll get enough rubber. Um, oops. So what else did we need? All right, so just short on silicon, which isn't isn't that bad. All right, so I'm gonna have to go. Let me go drop the uh, the miner on a silicone. I think it's a tungsten. Yeah, tungsten vein. Um, it is, has a pretty small weight, unfortunately, but, uh, oh, we have it on Proteus, uh, which we can get to, and Triton. All right, nice. So, um, yeah, it is on Oberon, though. I'm gonna have to go grab that, and then, uh, oh, actually, Platinum doesn't spawn on, yeah, I'm just gonna do, drop it on, uh, Oberon, we're gonna go find one. All right, uh, so let me cut here and we will be back. All right, we are back and I noticed um, since I've been running my uh, drill so much, it goes through so much of this drilling fluid. Um, I'm actually have gone through about 2000 of the, um, uh, the rape seeds. So I am replicating the the crops so I can add some more because I am like, I can't believe I've gone through like 3,000 of those or something I had at one point. So I am just replicating a bunch of these. Um, it's four buckets of you men are each, but uh, I use this so much. I think it is uh, worth it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, go through so much lubricant. And that is definitely the best I think that's the best one I can get it from because you get 125 from it. So everything else is like so much lower. Anyway, uh, just thought I'd point that out. So I think uh, I got everything we need now. I have the, the drill on Oberon getting the silicon that we need. So we just need to craft up a whole lot of electro pumps and quantum processors. That's about it. Um, but not the end of the world. Although those, yeah, that's not an insignificant amount of those. So, all right. So we got our 63 vacuum freezers going. And now I kind of set this up remember, over here. I think that's probably where I'm going to put it. Um, if eventually I get 
Mega Blast Furnace. It's going to be the same size. They're both the same size, I believe. Or I think the Mega one is a bit taller. Yeah, 15 by 20. Whereas this is 15 by 15 uh, tall. So this thing is going to be absolutely massive. Um, question is... Yeah. I guess that doesn't matter. Because I was thinking, like... It, if I put the other blast furnace next to it, um, yeah, I'm not gonna have to pull. I would only have like the one amp going over to it or whatever. I wouldn't. I don't think I would need, you know, 16 amps, and like I am in this room. So, all right. Um, question is, how big do I want to build this? I don't really need a. I don't think I really need a basement for this multi-block because it's basically just a power cable and um, like two channels, I think. So I really don't need a huge underneath. It's clearing out some of this annoying long glass. <laughs> Anyone else hate long grass, or is it just me? And these flowers, so annoying. So I guess we'll do maybe... I mean, does it need to be much bigger than that? It's like if I go out two... I can't right click on that. It's annoying. Um, I'm a little worried it's going to be like a big giant square. <laughs> um, well, it, obviously it is going to be a big giant square. I'm talking about the building on the outside. I would like it to maybe have a little more shape than that. Um, but I could always, you know, go out on some kind of angles kind of thing. It doesn't have to be like completely square around it. I don't know, just kind of. It's so annoying. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it's just my mouse. My mouse may be dying. Um, yeah. Anyway, let me uh, kind of figure out why I want to do this. Like I said, I think I'm going to just build it up maybe one just so I have a little bit of room underneath uh, for the cable. I guess we'll just come in. Hmm, that's the other question. How am I going to power this thing? All right. Um, let me kind of sort out how I want to do this, and uh, we'll come back. All right. So we got the vacuum freezers. Let's go ahead and craft up. The Mega Freezer the controller. So we need the 17 and I don't know how many that is. Is that 9216 divided by 144? Uh, that's 64 ingots of soldering alloy. Do I not have? No, I do. those out uh i guess we'll just do it i'll keep it separate just so i don't have to like uh because it's in the a system as well so i don't want it to like go somewhere it's not supposed to all right so there is that that and i guess we'll just borrow a circuit from assembler does this need to be just an hv Yeah, we'll put that in the um put that in the uh the UV one. Oops. Oh, 
All right, so that there. Seventeen. And that goes there. All right, so there is the, the controller. Now I need an input bus and an output bus. Let's just go ahead and craft those up. Uh, input bus. Output bus. Like I said, I could just break down the other fuse freezer, but I don't know if I'm need it uh, in between crafting a different. Th yeah, I probably will need it because I'm going to need another <laughs> energy hatch. Um, what am I out of? Oh, it may just be, yeah, it's on the, these took up the first computer. All right, so there is that done. Let me switch this back. All right. I think, I think we're good with that. And I need a maintenance hatch. And this should be everything that we need. I just need to, yep, there we go. All right, so we'll get that going. Uh, only one of them is not gonna take too long, hopefully. All right, uh, the last thing we're gonna need is Still going. Uh, I didn't see how long it was going to take. I didn't check. Um, the last thing we need is the frost proof machine casings. All right. So this is a 15 by. I'm going to need to probably write this down on the thing. All right. So 15. Let's see. 15 by 15 by 15 cube. That's a full cube, would be 337 blocks um obviously we don't need the center part so the center kind of square is 13 by 13 by 13 and that is 2197 so we need 3375 minus is that right i think so it could be way off on this Actually, I don't know if that's, that might not actually be correct because, let me think. Yeah, um, let me do some quick math here. So I don't, I just don't want to overcraft how many of the, uh, frost proof machine casings because, um, I think, I think that's right. Eleven. But then minus the four, so we need eleven seventy-four. Uh, the four is the input bus, the output bus, the maintenance hatch, and the energy hatch. Um, Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because if you think about it, the like the chemical reactor. Yeah, the chemical reactor is a three by three by three block. So three times three is nine times three is 27. And then minus the one in the middle is 26. All right, so that yeah, that is right. I thought it was right, but then I started doubting myself. Uh, once again, don't do math on... Uh, while you're recording because it just makes you look silly all right so we need 1000 what did i say 1174 frost proof machine casings these take it's just uh all it is is um aluminum um i am short on some aluminum though 
So I'm going to have to go throw that thing down on... I need to find a bauxite vein. Because I don't think I have anything else that... Gives aluminum. Um, let's see. Proteus. I guess Proteus. Yeah, but it's not an Oberon, unfortunately. All right, so we're gonna have to go get some more aluminum. That's a bit of a pain because I am really short on lubricant. Um, so I may just do the. Yeah, I may just do a. Instead of the, oh, I don't know. I'm debating whether just to do the the big tier one, like the top tier, or I have. Uh, this one is like the second tier. Um, anyway, let me uh, cut here and we'll come back. All right, we are back. And as you can see, the uh, blast furnaces are <laughs> ticking on and off really quick. And that's the aluminum uh, that we're smelting up. So, um, yeah, we we have like, uh, it's just a one-to-one -one ratio. So unfortunately, it's only going to output one at a time, as we can see. Um, but I'm not going to change it. Uh, just for this like one big craft we're doing but uh all right so my one i don't know um if we look at the uh if we look at the regular blast for our vacuum freezer the controller goes in the middle which that makes sense but uh the vacuum freezer so controller front centered Mega vacuum freezer, it says the same, controller front centered. So does that mean it has to be seven blocks up in the air? Um, because this is, what, 15 tall? So 17. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, 15 by 15 by 15. So does that mean the thing has to be, like, way up? I'm actually not sure uh, with that. need some more stone uh, so I guess um, let's put this down the EV energy hatch we'll put that right there and uh, let's see we'll do the maintenance right there um, let's do input bus, output bus. I want those kind of on the outside so I can access them. I don't want to like have it underneath or anything. Um, now this should be, I forgot to paint that cabling. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, I hooked up that, so it should be connected. I just need the... Actually, we can just borrow. Okay, I won't do that right now, but I'll just borrow the ones that we have underneath there because that's going to be replaced. So, let's see. So, front and center, this is, this is the center, right? Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, four five, six. So, does this where the, this needs to go? I have no idea. We shall see. That seems a bit... Funny that it's like way up there because like I have to like jump in to access it, but uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. <clears throat> all right, so I'm not gonna place all these while recording because this is probably gonna take me a little while. I don't have a uh, <clears throat> like a builder's wand or anything that would probably help with this, but uh. It does lag a little bit when you place these down because it's connecting to the the controller. I'm assuming it's probably like, oh, I got to check to make sure I'm a correct monthly block. Yeah, so that, as you saw, like, that totally dropped.
All right, so I guess that will be the uh, <laughs> the multi block. That's pretty funny. All right, let me uh, continue placing these and just laying uh, three thousand more aluminum to smelt up here, and we will come back. And we are back, and I hope I got it all built because I have way extra. But I kind of figured I was off on figuring out how many I needed. But not a problem. So input bus, we'll just do and get hot. And then output bus, uh, ignore that. And then let's just hook this up. Double check that is connected. It does say it's online. It'd say like missing channel if it were, what'd it say? I can't remember what it's missing channel or not online. All right, I have no idea where that light just came from. <laughs> Something just lit up. Uh, but maybe the, uh, the channels give off light? I have no idea. All right, let's close this up and hopefully This is correct. I have a feeling it's not, though. Come on. No, it doesn't look like it's... I feel like that being way up there is definitely not how it's supposed to be. I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be, like, right here. Um, which is a bit annoying, because that is where my... Um... That's where the uh, energy hatch is. I can just move that a little bit, though. I think this is... Let me just double check. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. And then... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2... Yep, that's 15. All right, so let's, I guess, this is a bit of a pain. I can just move this over, though. We just do that. We try that. So put the maintenance hatch there, UV energy hatch there. Let's try this here. See what happens. All right, that doesn't look like that is for me either. All right, let me uh, cut here and see if we can get this to form. And a quick update. I forgot I moved it back to spaces. Um, so it's wide enough, but I was too short, which would explain why I have a whole bunch of extra machine casings. So, uh, yep, I moved the controller back to the center of it, but I got to build this all back up. So this is 15, uh, 15 blocks uh, long. And it's a bit annoying because my frame rate just tanks when I'm, if I build a bunch of these in a row, the frame rate will like drop horribly. It drops down to almost zero. So I gotta kinda keep, place like five or six down and then uh, Big stop. Anyway, we'll be back when I <laughs> have to break all this down and move the wall out. All right, we are back, and I was actually short too. I don't know if I just, when I was building it, I had dropped some or something and they despawned. All right, but there we go. Let us see if this has formed. All right, <laughs> it looks like it has. Uh, can't reach the controller, which is a bit annoying, but uh, yeah, there we go. So it has completely formed. Let's just do some maintenance on this really quick. I think I need soldering alloy. All right. <laughs> Are you 
There we go. All right, so everything is fixed, and uh, I need to connect this really quick. Yep. I move this. Let's move this back. I guess we could just move this back as well. Uh, it's the controller that uh, determines the maintenance. So you can actually break the maintenance hatch and it won't affect anything. There is that. And that. All right. I guess now we just need to, I guess, test it. But uh, unless I'm doing a huge craft, I don't really know what to... Uh, I guess, um, how about we do Osmeridium? Yeah, it's a superconducting base that seems to take the longest. Why don't we do like, I don't know, 200 of those. Yeah, we're going to use it eventually, so I don't mind uh, doing that. All right, so there it goes. And it is in there. Actually, let me just wait. How about we wait till we get a whole bunch in here? Let's do that. And I'm going to do, like, how about we do um, Osmeridium? We do a ton of, too. So how about I do, like, a thousand Osmeridium? Um, that's used in all the superconducting wires, which we use a lot of. So, uh, yeah, let me wait till this all kind of smelts up. And uh, we'll see how fast this thing goes through it. And we are back, and there is all that stuff. It actually didn't even uh, take that long to smelt up, but uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. I want to be able to see it. I don't know how fast it's going to go, so we're kind of learning. All right, did it not get enough power? That worried me a little bit there. Yeah, it's using one amp of Yeah, did that void that stuff? All right, it does look like it voided it. All right, let me figure out uh why that happened. All right, should we try that again? No, it is not getting enough power, it doesn't look like. Um, all right. So that's that's something. And I don't know why it's getting four amps of UV or it can take four amps of UV. It is not enough power. I wonder if the loss in the line is causing it. Or does it just need more than one UV energy edge? I don't know. It doesn't say. Um, all right. So I'm going to have to do some testing here, it looks like, unfortunately. I thought we would be able to get this going, but it just says one energy hatch. That's all it says. Um, it is connected, right? It's getting power. Yeah, it's got power in it. Uh, maybe, I don't think, like, yeah, I don't, I can't imagine that uh, the loss at UV power would be causing that, but uh, I don't know, maybe it needs to be, like, a full, a completely full volt of UV, um, but, all right, so I've turned it on twice, and as we can see, it's doing about 200 ingots each so uh yeah let me do some testing here um unfortunately we just voided a whole bunch of ingots but i mean i have tons of resources at this point but uh yeah we'll come back next episode and hopefully i'll get this sorted out and uh we can check it out all right thanks for watching and have a good one